No, you're, you're exactly right, Laura. And put this in context with the couple you just had on a few minutes ago who the FBI raids their home to then the FBI going after the president's lawyer raiding his home. And now we have this. I mean, but frankly, it, it shouldn't surprise us. I mean, remember, the Obama-Biden administration is the same administration that used the IRS to target people like you and I and all your viewers. The Obama-Biden administration used the FBI to target President Trump's campaign. And now they're looking at ways they can, as you said, spy on all of us. So you're exactly right. We need hearings. Let's see if the Democrats will do it. I don't think they will, but we're going to be calling for them. Now, a former FBI agent, Congressman, uh, addressed this idea of supposed domestic terror threats. Watch. There's also been a lull in the system because they've waited to hear what Donald Trump will say. And he's been remarkably quiet uh, in the past couple months. But they'll either wait for him to sort of give some sort of thoughts about what the direction of their movement should be, or they will strike out on their own. And we saw this dynamic happen with international terrorism, where you had a number of splinters, uh, for example, after Osama bin Laden died 10 years ago. Okay, Congressman, this former FBI agent is basically describing President Trump as his own sleeper cell. You know, no, it, this is ridiculous, but that's how the left views of regular Americans who vote Republican, who supported President Trump. It is it is completely ridiculous. But understand, Laura, the story that came out today on this, they talked about people posing as someone else online. So posing as someone else to get your information, have communications with you and then share that information with the government. That is unconstitutional. But it's exactly what they did in the whole Trump Russia collusion thing when they had Azra Turk poses someone else and go cozy up to George Papadopoulos. Remember this? This is how this whole thing started with the FBI spying. So now they're taking it online and coming after regular Americans who happen to vote Republican. This is this is frightening where they want to go. And again, as you, when you put it in context with all the other things we've seen just in the last few weeks and right. just in the last few years, that's what should really cause concern. And that's why, as you pointed out, we need to have hearings on this. Yeah, the Patriot Act. This all stems, they're going to cite the Patriot Act, right? This, the Patriot Act is a never-ending resource of, of supposed federal rights to violate yours. Um, the feds, though, uh, seem to be teaming up, Congressman, with big tech, uh, we understand, to hunt down alleged Capitol rioters. And last month, the FBA found a man who allegedly assaulted uh, an officer on January 6th, um, the FBI ran an image of Stephen Chase Randolph through an open source facial comparison tool that had been known to provide reliable results in the past. But Congressman, isn't there an issue yeah. with probable cause being determined by some shoddy facial recognition technology? <laughs> Well, was it, wasn't that what they, what they supposedly used for the couple you just had on from Alaska? Yes. I mean, come, come on. That, that, that's not consistent with the Fourth Amendment. That's not consistent with the Bill of Rights. That's not consistent with the Constitution. So, but remember, Laura, if, if we said this a couple years, for the last couple of years, we said it on your show and others. Uh, if they can do it to a president go. of the United States, if they can do it to a three-star general, Michael Flynn, imagine what they can do to you and I. And 